I have the Mate 50 Pro already since a few weeks and together with its new Harmony OS software it has some awesome new features that I want to show you right now. So let's take a look at it. So all of the new cool features we can find under the settings menu under accessibility features because it's not only holding accessibility features but also some smart features just like smart sensing where I can turn on keep screen on while looking which will constantly use the 3D face unlock scanners to take a look at if I'm still looking at the device or not. And if I'm still looking at the device, it will not turn off the screen. Very, very useful if you're reading some longer emails or texts or websites and you don't scroll so much. Then we have some other options that are mainly useful for China, just like, for example, Smart Pay, which allows you to hold your device onto your scanner and it will yeah, then show the QR code. This is not so much useful here, but Smart Scan might be useful. It is meant for scanning QR codes for payment in China but when you turn it on it will scan actually every smart uh, QR code just like for example set the payment method it will probably ask you for a payment method I just set here Huawei wallet doesn't really matter what you do here but the cool thing is like I have now my other phone here where I have a QR code what I can do now with this one is I can go to the home screen and hold it like this and it will give me the scan option here. I can just double tap on the back and it will start scanning the QR code and opening up then the website in this case because there's a link to my homepage uh, on YouTube which is pretty cool. So you have the possibility to do this and this can be very very handy especially if you're like in a hotel and you have connected one of the phones for example want to connect your next phone just have this option here you don't have to go to any camera settings or something like this just have a QR code scanner built into your home screen very very cool and useful on the new Mate 50 Pro. And let's go back to the options here what we have here as well if I go back again to the accessibility features is multi-window. Multi-window is by default enabled. It's a new feature of Harmony S 3.0 which allows me to use the multi-window dock. So I have the possibility here to go in and say I want to have this as a tiled window and want to have weather as my second window. And then I have both in here. I can change the size of them if I want to. And this works with more and more apps, not only Huawei, uh, Huawei's own apps, but with more and more apps. And of course I can make it bigger again. What if I want to have this settings like um, be in the background, I can go in here to the top right corner, have it there in the background in a small little window. I can then navigate to my other uh, pages here as you can see here go back to some other settings it also minimizing it here in this little window so if I want to bring it back again I can open this up here and then press on it and it will come up in a window and what I can do now is just there you can see there's a little tutorial minimize it to the window I can switch to full screen by dragging it up and I can also minimize it by dragging it down or closing it completely. So let's drag it up to make it full screen. And here we are again. Very cool features for multi-window support. But there's another support of uh, yeah, features called Super Hub. Super Hub, if you have this enabled, allows you to drag photos, text or whatever into a little yeah, dock-like container. And there you can access it again. So let me show you this. So uh, let's go to, for example, my uh, newsflash here and not just read this, just scroll in here and uh, just mark the text. And I want to copy this text here. What I do is press and hold, drag it out, and then you can see the drag here area. I drag it here and the text automatically immediately gets copied over. What if I want to have more of the text, like the second paragraph here like this for example I can also drag it out here and have it here and if I go in here you can see it already shows me that with the two here it's indicating that there is another text if I click on, click on this I see the latest text that I copied and the text before and what I can do now is when I go for example I go into a little note let me open up a new a note you note what I can do is you can still see it here I have it bring it to the front and I can drag this note hold 
in here and I have this node in here. The same I can do with this. The same I can also do with pictures and other things. I have like the super hub which acts like a clipboard, a multi clipboard for this device and it's a feature that I already showed you on iOS once that allows me to copy and paste to several applications just by dragging and dropping. I think this method is a little bit better because you have like this always floating uh, kind of super hub which allows you to store all of your uh, yeah, data, clipboard data that you want to copy to somewhere else which is pretty pretty nice indeed. So these are some of those features that I really really like a lot especially the super hub which has also the clipboard feature here which would like for everything that you copy uh, bring it up to the super hub. But you can control it. I just like to have it like only if I drag it in there to be there. Otherwise, use the normal clipboard. These are some of the cool new features that you can find on the Mate 50 Pro. And uh, there are more and more features, just like, for example, still the stylus support. So if you have the stylus, you have the ability to use the stylus here on the Mate 50 Pro as well. A smart cover. If you have a smart cover, you can use it also with the Mate 50 Pro and lots and lots of other options here. Just explore the accessibility features on your devices and be yeah, a little bit astonished sometimes what kind of features are hiding in here. So this is a short little video for the Mate 50 Pro. What do you think? What do you like about your Mate 50 Pro or about Harmony S 3.0? If you have some tips and tricks, write it down in the comment section. That's everything for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Until the next time. Bye.